So, day one of our advent calendar is Kent Romney. Now, British Romney is a, generally a higher micron count than North American Romney. So, this actually feels fairly soft. But I think what I want to do, because it's a longer wool, not a long wool, but a longer wool breed, is I want to spin this to a fine lace weight. I want to see how fine I can get it. So, I'm going to strip it down. You know what? I'm going to strip it even more. We're going to try for a very, very fine yarn and see what happens. Romney is supposed to be a very versatile wool. It's supposed to be able to make it do anything you want. So let's check our staple length here. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty long staple weight. All right, staple weight, staple length. So I'm using my fast flyer. I don't have a very fast flyer. I haven't had a need for it yet. So we'll see. I generally don't spin thin that much, but all the more reason to do it now with the advent calendar. Let's see if I can get my leader to split here. Get this started probably a little thicker than I want to spin. Increase my uptake. Get used to my drafting triangle. Wow, this has got a really long staple. Okay, I got way too much uptake, so we'll adjust that. And let's take it down to just a couple of hairs. Wow, this is very thin. Okay. So normally I would not take a four ounce braid and do this because it would take forever. Not so much in the spinning as in the plying. Now let's make sure we're getting enough twist in there because the finer you spin, the more twist it needs. The trick is to get in enough twist without having so much twist that it snaps. All right. Let's do a ply back sample and see how we're doing. Always pull it off the bobbin because it kind of changes as it goes through the orifice. All right, let's see how it looks as a two ply. It's pretty wiry. It's got a nice twist to it though. That would make like a lovely lace shawl. Now we're not into cobweb. By the time I apply it, it will be just a lace weight. But I think this will be fun. So I am going to spin this up. And when I have it done, I will come back and show you the result of day one of our advent calendar. I think what I'm going to do is I will do four or five days together and release them as one, one video, and then do four or five days together and release them as one video and so on and so forth until we've worked our way through the advent calendar. I will see you when it's time to open the next bag. Hi guys, today is a play day. I've been uh, playing with my advent calendar. I have day two is done at a suggestion from a comment on a YouTube video. I made some hawser yarn. So I spun four plies. Then I spun them S, then I applied them S. So I had two two-ply yarns, spun S, then applied S, and then I, 
and then I plied those Z to get this yarn. She says it is super, super stretchy. Now, it's obviously just been spun. I haven't washed it to set the twist, which is where the magic will happen. But you can see it's just on the plying. It's lovely. So I will wash that and we'll see what the final result is. And that was a Merino and Scorpio. That was day two. So we'll put that back in the bag. So day three is milk fiber. I assumed milk fiber would be some kind of plant fiber, but it's actually made from milk. There's a chemical process they use to draw out the proteins and that extrude it into yarn. So it's not exactly an easy fiber to make. And it is, it's very lovely and soft and silky. But apparently, I did some research, and for spinning, it can be very tricky. It's like silk. It's very fly away and sticky. Um, so the suggestions are to spin it from the fold. So what I've done is I've taken my sample and I've spun it into, spun it, split it into two pieces. I want to try blending some of this with some merino on my hand cards, try spinning that. And then I have some left in the bag that we can spin exactly as it is to see how that turns out. We also have day four to do because I missed yesterday. So this is a humbug merino. What I have decided to do is when I don't have a plan is I'm using my spinner's book of yarn designs. Here I've taken out some cards on yarns I want to try and I'm just going to shuffle them up and I'm going to draw a card and whatever the card is, I'm going to spin that. It can be either the front or the back. I will give myself the option of the front or the back. All right, they're all well mixed. I'm going to draw right from the middle. Oh, well that works out well. Okay, so one side is a fine wool boucle with beads. I don't want to get into beads, but on the other side is a slub wool boucle. So I think I'm going to do that one with day number four, which is our humbug merino. I will need some commercial for a binder. So I think I will find some of my silk thread to use with that. And we'll just tuck that in there. So for now, let's start with day number three, our milk fiber. And I think first I'm going to try just spinning some from the fold. So I'll adjust it to the wheel and we'll give that a go. Now, currently on my wheel, I have been spinning my Seri Silk that I got in my Wool Interrupted Fiber Boxes. I have been spinning a single of this that I want to use to ply some locks I got from Adele Forward on Facebook. Hold on, let me show you these beautiful things. Look at these locks. Aren't they gorgeous? So I'm going to lock spin these and then I'm going to bind them with this because tonally I think it'll work. I am going to do this the other way. I'm going to z-spin and ply s. I've been knitting lately and it turns out when I knit I need s ply. Darn it all. I can make do with the z-ply but we'll see. All right so here's our milk fiber. I'm just going to Pull a chunk off the end. Oh yeah, that's definitely grippy. And we're going to spin from the fold. So we're going to fold it over our finger. Pull a little bit of it through. Oh, it's very grippy. All right, get spinning. Yeah, this is a very grippy fiber. I got my uptake a little too high. Let me turn that down. You have to be really gentle on your draft so you can really feel the grip in it. But it does spin up lovely.
And I can see why spinning from the fold would be easier. But just for fun, let's try spinning from the end. Oh yeah, because it it's yeah, it pulls way back into the fiber. And it's very grippy, so it's difficult to control. Yeah, that's very tricky. All right, so my advice, if you're spinning milk fiber, spin from the fold. Much, much easier. And it's a much more pleasurable process. So milk fiber, first thing we learn, spin from the fold. Now let's see, I just want to finish spinning this a little bit and then we'll check our ply back sample and see how it looks as a ply yarn. All right, so I'll just wind that over the orifice hook and we will pull a sample off of the bobbin, line them up and let them ply. Oh, that's pretty. Now I probably would want to put a little more twist in that, but it does make a very lovely yarn with a bit of a sheen to it. So it's very pretty. I'm happy with that. Now let's try blending it with some Merino. So I will get a bit of milk fiber. It is, it's a very, very grippy fiber. Put a little bit of that on our hand cards. And then I have some purple merinos here. Got a chunk of the dark purple. And we'll grab a chunk of the light purple. And we'll just Plop some on, plop a little bit of the light purple on just for some fun. All right. And we're just going to blend it. I'm happy with this blend. It's a little streaky, which is kind of what I wanted. And I'm going to spin right from the card. Since I'm just experimenting, I'm not worrying about making up a whole bunch or cleaning off the cards or anything. So we'll get this to the end. All right. So we'll let the fiber catch on, draw it down. And I'm going to start drafting. Now, it wants to spin up a little thicker with the merino, and I'm just kind of letting it because I just want to see what the end result looks like. So I'm not worried about making it do what I want. Now, when it's blended with the merino, I'm not feeling any sticky in the draft. So the merino breaks up that bond between the milk fibers and gets it to spin nice and smooth. Okay, right, that's enough for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an Indian plying bracelet. I'm going to apply this stuff back on itself. So make a little slip knot, put that over my thumb, release my tension. Oops, I made my slip knot the wrong way. Oh, I'm such an amateur sometimes. All right, there we go. Make a little slip knot, put that over my thumb, tighten it down. So they go behind the hand, around the middle finger, behind the hand, around the middle finger, behind the hand, around the middle finger. Take our slip knot off our thumb, pull that out, tie our two ends together, 
All right, and then pull this off our ring finger and round our wrist. We have our two ends here. So we will come here. There we go. Tie a knot at the end with our reader and start pulling. Which increase my uptake a bit. So when you're doing the Andean plying bracelet, you can see your hand is between the singles. So you go through and through. Then pull snug, line up your singles so they're even, and then let your twist in. Let's see if I can get this way up here. So go through the middle and back through the middle. Then pull your plies tight and then let the twist in. You want to make sure your plies are even or your yarn won't be even. Now it can feel a little funky when you start using an Indian plying bracelet but once you get the hang of it I'm telling you it's magical. Now it's very similar to a center pull ball it's just I suck at doing center pull balls so I prefer an Indian plying bracelet. Well, it ends up that we have the same amount of both, so we ended up with the entire thing being a single of milk plied with a single of the blended one. Pull that off the wheel. Oh, that's pretty. So there's the end result. It feels, it doesn't feel like silk once it's spun. It feels silky in, in uh, fiber form but it's not as silky once it's spun. It does have a nice sheen to it. And it gave the merino like a little highlight to it. So this could be fun. I could have some fun doing this. I think I would blend it all though. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> decisions, decisions. So that's a quick sampling with our milk fiber. And it's actually rather nice to work with once you know how. So yes, definitely, uh, definitely spin from the fold or blend it with something.